Okay, so um, this how-to is going to look at doing an acid-base um, reaction and looking at the stoichiometry and performing a BCA table with that information. Most of the time when you would come across this is if we were doing a titration where you have an unknown concentration or um, of an acid or a base and you mix in um, the uh, you mix in amounts of an a known concentration of the opposite and you can use the BCA to determine how many moles were in your original sample and then um, figure out the concentration that way. So what we have here is a constant we're looking for the concentration of HCl if it was neutralized so we you know use up all of the NaOH so we um, use HCl and NaOH to make the water and the salt. Um, to do that, we used a 0.21 molar solution, and we were able to use 16 milliliters of that. So the first thing we need to figure out is the moles of NaOH that we uh, used between the 16 milliliters and the 0.21. So we're going to use the equation M equals moles over liters, so we have our 0.21 molar equals moles over the 16 milliliters we're going to convert to liters, so we're going to divide by 1,000 and use 0 0.016 liters. We multiply both sides by 0 0.016 liters. We end up with moles equals 0 0.00336. So that's going to go, if we have our BCA, that's going to go here, 0 0.00336. We are looking for our unknown, what we have to begin with. We also have zero of our product. Throughout the reaction, we're going to use up all of this. Since it's a 1 to 1, 1, 1, we have to use 0 0.00336 moles of the HCl. We're also going to make the same amount of our water, and we're going to make the same amount of our NaCl. So we're left with um, nothing because we want we're going to we're using up all of this HCl. We have nothing left of our NaOH. Uh, we have 0 0.00336 of our water and 0 0.00336 of our NaCl. Now. We want to know the concentration, the molarity of our HCl, and we know that that equals moles over liters. We know that our liters comes from this 32 up here. Again, that's in milliliters, so we have to convert it. Um, we're going to use 0 0.032 liters. The moles come from here the amount that we used, if we do this calculation out, we find out that our concentration was 0 0.105 moles. So the concentration of HCl that we had in this reaction to begin with was 0 0.0135 molar.